So um, once again, I welcome you all to um, today's uh, section. So like I said earlier, this is um, uh, Nemchi. So the URL is uh, namecheap.com. So if you don't, I've sent the, the, the link to the WhatsApp group. So what we are trying to do today is to uh, learn how to create account on a uh, hosting company. So we're going to just be using Namecheap. That doesn't mean that Namecheap is the only hosting company available. There's a lot of other ones uh, you can use. I use Namecheap. I use um, Hostinga and some other hosting company, depending on the clients I'm working for. Sometimes they might uh, want something different from what you are using before. Then you have to definitely pay attention to them. Okay. Um, now, no, sir, sir, please do they do they follow the same pattern? Both the name chip and the hosting and others. Do they have the same procedures? Uh, you know how it's the design will be definitely. It's not as if they everything will just be uh, exactly the way. But if you if you have if you are familiar with one, you can be able to navigate your way around the other. Okay. So um, we're going to click on sign up. So sign up if you are you are new. Sign in if you already have an existing account. So we are signing up because this is a new this is a new account. So, uh, what is the name of the domain you want to buy? Okay, should I send it to the group? Should I avoid spelling spelling uh, error? Okay, I try doing that. Should, okay, let me send it to the WhatsApp group to avoid yeah. spelling. So what I normally do and what I always advise, whenever you create a stop, just create a, um, um, you know, a notepad and paste what you're going to be using uh, just for references. So every detail you entered, use you record it, you understand, so that you won't have reasons to... Um... So, so I don't understand what you just said now. Sorry. I said, make sure you open a notepad just to save your details whenever oh, okay, you, are, okay. you are doing something so that you, know, you don't forget. You can do that on Google Docs too, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, Google Docs will be uh, okay. This is your password, Bogote Kwaro. <laughs> you know, I'm a tech guy, so we are very particular about creating password. So, um, I'm using this as my username, so let me see if it's available. Okay. Teflon stores, right? Uh, then okay. this is the password I'm using. Uh, I repeat the password. So, so uh, we could just use this as a name. And this as the last name. Okay, we don't want Hello, to sir. sign. Huh? Okay, okay. First name. But I wanted to ask since we are using his details, why not use his name instead? Uh well if if he wants, you can always change this later on, but just okay. Okay. Just use this. I don't forget. Okay. Okay. Uh, just use it. Don't need to start exposing your 
personal details on the internet like that. So people can track all these stuff. So um, we proceed to create accounts. I hope there's no questions so far. It's very simple, just your username, the password, and, you know. Is there a specific way of, of putting, of creating the password or just type anything you want? You, you, that, like I told you guys, I'm a tech guy, so our password is always strong. So I'm not typing passwords. No, I mean, to, I mean, I mean, regard, I mean, regarding to the pass, um, to the site, you know, some sites will tell you how, how they want uh, the, to There's no, be. there's no specification in this one. But me as somebody who I, who is into this, I already know okay. the pattern. So that's why I did like this. All package. And Small letter, that. then uh, special character, numeric okay. number, capital letters, and so on. I don't forget, just the normal process. Then you okay. don't type something that leads to your name. Don't type your something name. that leads to your to you in any way. Just type blah blah blah. It's safer. Okay. So, it's just that sometimes people want to use password. They can they, they can you know. Remember, remember. Uh -huh. but me, I don't normally type password. I can remember. I type password and save it somewhere so that when I need it, I go there and retrieve it. I have a list of places where my passwords are saved. You can see this folder. These are full of passwords of different mm -hmm. websites I've built over the years. And so um, that's just so. Let's proceed, and I create. See at the lower one. So, uh, uh, congratulations, we are here. So you see the process is quite that. simple. So we just created an, an account currently. You can see this is a virgin account and uh, nothing uh, is, is here. Now, when you, you are what? done creating this account, the next thing you want to do is um, you search for the domain which you are uh, trying to buy. Because sometimes you might be happy that you want to buy a domain and you don't know that this domain has been taken by someone else. So let's make sure that this domain is still free. So we search the domain. To see if it's free. So our uh, congratulations, this domain is free. So what we want to do is to add to cart so that we'll be able to sorry, calculate so, sorry, how sorry. much. Go on. So please, I didn't understand like how you got here, please. Okay. Like how, how you searched for the name. Like what happened when you finally signed in, please. I didn't sign in the, I just, once you- Like when you created your, yeah, when you, when you created your account, like what happened afterwards? Once you create it, once you create the account, they will log you in automatically. Okay. Are you following? Yes. Once you are done creating the account, you just find yourself here. Okay. So now I said we are we are here already. The next one to do is to we're supposed to fund this account. You understand? Okay. But we don't know how much we want to we are going to fund this account. So what we need to do is to search for the name we want to buy. You understand? Add to cut yeah. all the information we want to purchase and know how much is it so that we can now know how much we are going to fund. You get? Are you with me? Yes, yes, I'm with you. So this is the name you sent to me, Ash, right? So this is yes. Telf, Teflon uh, Stores. stores. Yes. So I'm going to search for this name. So why I'm searching for this name is to look up for its availability, understand, to know whether it's free on the World Wide Web. So 
is free and you can see it's ticking good. So sometimes you might see a domain that the price is too high. You understand? It depends. Some domains are premium domains. So it depends. So, but this is free. So it's always good that you think of a name somebody might not be able to use. But if you try using something that is very common, you definitely uh, see that somebody have already used that. So let's proceed. Uh, we're going to add to cart. We are adding to cart. So once the 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 domain is available, by the side here, you're going to see a button adding, asking you to add to cart. Now you can see we have added to cart and we have 10 points. For six dollar, yes. And so this is plus the um, the charges. So you see the original price is ten point twenty eight dollars, but now it's showing ten point forty six dollars. So they have added the charges. So we are done with the domain. Now the domain is just an address. Domain is just an address. So there's another thing you need, which is the hosting. Hosting is where you 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 put your file and uh, maybe you have a when somebody design a website for you it's going to be somewhere uh, that place is going to you're going to keep that website is the hosting account now the the domain name is just like a pointer an address just like somebody have a house and you want to come to that person's house what you're going to ask the person is to send you what his address uh, but the address is not the person's house. It's just that it's a, it's, a, it's a path to the person's house. So the same thing goes with the domain. Domain is just a universal locator, you understand, of where yes. a house or a, a website is on the internet. So when I give you a domain name, I'm just giving you an address to somebody's website where the website app is uh, hosted, you understand? So with that website, with that address, you can now locate that website and be able to view the content on the website. You get so that okay. is the next step we're going to go into, which is the hosting. We're going to click on shared hosting. We're going to be using shared hosting. There's other hostings, the WordPress hosting, there's reseller hosting. Maybe you want to buy this account and sell to others. It's still possible. There's the VPS hosting, uh, just like this, your store. You understand this? Uh, with this whole thing we are going to buy today, at the point, if by God's grace this your stock goes viral, then you find that this share whole thing will never will not be enough to contain it. So definitely, you have to step up to VPS. And when the VPS can't contain it again, you have to start going for dedicated servers. You understand? So the dedicated server is always the biggest, or the the most, the the highest is the cloud server. You understand so when you host on cloud there's uh a li the, the space is unlimited it's just that you pay as you use you understand as your consumption gets higher uh, your your payment also your bills goes higher so that's uh where these dedicated servers or cloud server comes in when somebody needs an unlimited just like facebook and TikTok. You know, and all these big platforms, you might be wondering where are those people saving all those videos people are uploading every second on TikTok. So you see that they are using cloud server. So this the the the, the, the server is unlimited. So they just keep paying as they go. You understand? So um we are gonna go to shared hosting. So I'm gonna click on shared hosting. So Sir, please, sorry, sorry, can I say something? Go on. Hey, what about WordPress? WordPress hosting. Yes. Uh, forget about that, I've not used it before. You can try it out at your own time. It's still a type of hosting uh, that was made on for WordPress website. I don't forget. Okay, because um, the reason why I'm asking is because I've it seems like I've used that WordPress before, like uh, in creating landing pages. It's just like uh, try and error or something, like on my own. Uh, well, what, we are, what, we are, what we are talking about is hosting, not WordPress itself. 
Okay, 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 okay. All right, okay, it's hosting. Okay. So, I've not tried using WordPress hosting. This is a hosting that was specifically built for WordPress. You understand? So okay. that doesn't mean other ones doesn't house WordPress. But that one was specifically for WordPress. I don't need it because I don't only build WordPress sites. I do anything I want. And even in my WordPress sites, I manipulate, I can manipulate my WordPress to do whatever I want it to do. So I normally buy yeah. hosting that can serve me. So um, there, there are different server options here for the shared hosting. The first one can allow you to host up to three domains. Just like this one we are buying, Three of you can host your website on this particular domain. You understand? So all you need to do is just like this. So uh, we are buying this server. You guys don't need to buy any other server. You just need to just buy two more domains and attach to it, making it three websites. So this uh, particular plan has the ability to contain three websites. Then this one has the ability to contain unlimited number of websites. So you know the one you go for, but we are gonna go for this one because of the price so that uh, it's not be too uh, big on your side. Then the renewal also is small. So you renew at $44. Why this one renew at $68? And why this renew at uh, $108? So you find out that this one is cheaper. So let's go for this option. Uh, excuse me, sir. sir. I have a question. Go on. So if if tomorrow I want to increase it to the unlimited uh, this thing website, I can do that, but huh? uh, you just need to chat the uh, hosting company. They will tell you how much it will cost to do that. Then you fund your account. They can. They will just do that for you. They will upgrade it. Okay. So, or you can use your hand and buy a bigger hosting. Disconnect your domain from the server it is on and attach it to the new one. But it's a technical okay. stop, so you don't need to start unless you want to start going into web design. Then you start learning all those oh. things. But just keep. Uh, keep it simple. No, what I'm asking basically is if I want to migrate to the $2.98, $2.98 plan. That's, that's what I'm saying. You, you can do that. Just chat, okay. chat them up. They will help you do it. I'm just saying in case you want to do by yourself, but there won't be need for that because it's going to be more, it's going to be technical for you. Sorry, so, sorry for, I was disconnected. We're welcome back. Okay. Um. Can you please go back to 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 the previous thing we are saying, please? Where Where did you get disconnected? Um. Shared hosting. That's where we are. Okay. So I'm saying is is that you go for this option, which allow you to host only three websites, or you go for this Based. option. Where you can also limit the one point ninety eight, the one point ninety eight dollars. Yes, you can only host three websites here. Okay. This one's unlimited number of websites. The only the problem is price, price difference. You understand? Yeah. And space. You understand? This one has lesser space, this one has more space than this. You understand? So the bigger one you buy, the more space you have, the more the speed, the more everything. But this is good. I use it. But my company websites are here. So, and they have been serving me, though I don't have much information there. But just like an e-commerce you are doing, you need something big. When uh, you start having traffic, definitely you need something very big. You understand? So when you have considered the one to go for, just click on Get Started. Started. It's going to be added to your cart. So probably what we are going to do is that three dollar. So so we have added to class. 
provided to cart. So let's click on add to cart to add both the domain and the hosting to cart. So confirm and we make payment. So but this is a, so this is a bit confusing. Mm -hmm. I like how to merge both of them. Like you don't need to merge anything. anything. Just just follow the process I did. The first thing I did was I added the domain to cart. Then add your hosting to cart. Automatically, they will merge them for you. Okay. Uh, because you cannot buy a, a hosting without a domain. Okay. okay. But you can buy a domain without a hosting. But you cannot buy a hosting without a domain. Are you getting it? Okay. Yes. So immediately you add a domain to cart, it's going to look for any hosting, any domain there, and attach itself to it automatically. So if okay. there were two, if there were two domains here added to cart, it's going to try picking one of these domains. There is now for you to choose the particular one it's going to pick. I don't forget. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So, but we are using only one domain. Automatically, it just attaches itself to that one domain because it cannot be on its own. It, it cannot just exist on its own. It doesn't have that power to exist on its own because it must have an address. Every house must have an address before it can yes. exist. You understand? Yes. But they can have an address without the house. <laughs> <laughs> so um if there were funds in this account we just click on confirm order and um you know make payment but you see what will happen here uh, we can't proceed now for those creating account for the first time you're going to pass through this process you understand this process is going to ask you to enter your your full detail. So some of these things are, they're gonna enter your full detail, job description. So what address would I put for you? Um, Apo, Apo District, Abuja. Huh? Can you hear me? Apo what? Apo, A-P-O, District, Abuja. A-P-O. Yes, Apo, District. Abuja. Yes. Okay. Do you know the postal code of that place? Uh, nine, nine, wait, let me confirm the number of zeros. There are too many zeros in it. To be four zeros now. No, okay, five, so you can confirm or condition. Nine. Let me confirm it. No verse are back, let me confirm. I also say your phone number. Okay, so let me call it the postal code. Okay. Is nine hundred nine two nine two eight one zero four. Your phone number. Zero seven zero. Okay. Six five double four. Uh-huh. Double two, double four. Okay. So after filling this information, you just need to continue. So also remember your email, you need to confirm your email. So this email you sent to me, you have to log into it and confirm it, especially when you have purchased this domain. When you purchase this domain, you're going to confirm your email. You understand? But still check your email if you have any confirmation. 
you do that. So uh, click on save the configuration above to my default checkout settings so that the next time you are checking out, you don't need to start asking to fill all these things all over again. So by default, they're going to fill it for you with this previous information. So that's why I click on save the configuration above to my default checkout word setting. Then I click on continue. So definitely it's going to bounce us back because we don't have money in our account. So it's going to ask us to use card to make payment or we use PayPal to make payment or we can make payment from fund in our account. So currently we have zero funds in our account. We don't use PayPal, neither do we use, want to use card. So this will leave up with the option to go and add fund to our account. So excuse me, sir. I'm seeing, I don't know, is it, was it Visa card? That, is it Visa card that I'm seeing? You are seeing Visa card. And does it mean that someone that has a, a, visa, a visa card can make, can fund the account? Uh, are you in Nigeria? <laughs> yes, I'm in Nigeria. Uh, Why not? not, not no, the reason I'm asking you. The reason I'm asking you. The reason it's not work. You cannot use Nigeria card to pay for dollar. No. Okay. Uh, you can't use Nigerian card to pay for anything in dollar. They will bounce it back. It was it was it was before during um before Buari regime. Go That's on. why you can do that. <laughs> but now you can't, go on. you can't do it. You understand? So um, we cannot continue the process again. So we have to go to back to funding of our account. Now let's fund our account. How do you fund your account? We have one minute to time out. Just join again once we are time out. Now when you come to your dashboard, can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. You see a particular place they wrote your account balance. Below it is how much dollar you have in this account and a top-up button. So we're going to click on that button here, which is top-up. It's going to take us to where we're going to top-up our account. So this is where we have different options to top-up, whether card payment, whether PayPal payment, or Bitcoin payment, which is the one I prefer using. You understand? So I'm going to click next and type in the amount you're going to use. And so, hope you guys can see my screen. Yeah. yeah. So, this is where you enter the amount you want to top up. Remember, what we have here is $33.34. So, probably when we want to buy, we'll be buying like at seven dollars to take care of our transaction fees from whatever platform we're going to be moving it around to so we'll get here so what we're going to buy is um we're going to purchase um usdt so we purchase a usdt and um we convert it to litecoin and make use it to make payments for those who doesn't have binance you understand you can create an account on Binance if you want to be uh, doing all this crypto stuff, but it's necessary because, uh, you know, that's just the most easiest way to transact these days. Hello? Hello? Yeah, okay. I can hear you. Okay, okay. The, the, the post. So I thought uh, it was my network. Can you guys hear me? I can hear yes, you. Yes, I can hear you.
So what I'm saying is that we're going to go through the process of purchasing this um, uh, $37 now. So we're going to ask the vendor the rates and know what he's going to give, tell us. So is USDT you are using back? Yes, we're going to go for USDT. So if I want well, to I buy saw, from... I saw, option, I saw option for Bitcoin there. Yeah. Uh, Bitcoin, the transaction fee will be high. Okay. So he's the one that... You so, saw that recording? Yes. Um, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that when you tell a vendor to give you a coin, hmm, there are coins yeah, that... Yeah. There are coins that are stable coins. Eh? You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. So those stable coins are the ones when you purchase them, their transaction fees are always lesser. But all these coins, like these coins that are, you know, like Bitcoin, or Ethereum, and the rest of them, that goes up and yeah, slow down any, they are at not, any they time. Are not so when you want to buy those coins, their transaction fees are always high. You get. So yeah. the transaction fee a vendor used to sell Bitcoin for you might be $8, just transaction fee. But for your USDT, the best thing might charge you just $1 or even less. I don't even get. Another yeah. crazy thing is that you might buy that Bitcoin on reaching your, your account, the thing will just drop. Yes. The value will drop immediately. Uh -huh. So, so the best thing you need to do is you get the USDT. When you are ready immediately to use it, you convert it to whatever coin you want to convert it and send it out immediately. You understand? So, yeah. It will get to the destination and you don't need to start worrying yourself about buying anything. Because sometimes I just buy Bitcoin and put it in your wallet and say, okay, later, let me use it. When you are coming back, the, the Bitcoin of that uh, $7 will now be 20 something dollar. You get? Yeah. So you might start worrying yourself buying more some coin. <laughs> So it's always better you buy it, you buy it. That's except you are not using an exchanger. But once you are using an exchanger, converting coins are very easy. You can always convert it from one coin to another with a low transaction rate, sometimes even free. You get. Yeah. So okay, let's proceed to the next phase of starting a vendor up. Let's chat a vendor up currently. So I'm going to be doing that on my phone. So I'm going to send you the guy's number to save it as well. Uh, so that at your own time, you can, if you need his services, you can always contact him. You understand? Well, well, I don't know for others. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah. Um, Chukuma. Yes. Samuel, do you have Binance or any exchange? No, I'm not I into crypto. I don't know anything about crypto at all. At all, at all. No, I, don't. I, I just have Trust Wallet. That's all. <laughs> so any... No, Trust Wallet is not. It's not an <laughs> Okay, no other. Let's continue. <laughs> So I just send an exchanger to your account. Okay. So my the the, the conversation is ongoing. So I'm gonna send you trans the conversation we are having, and uh, we progress. Okay. So it's just. The first thing you do is just ask the person, what's the rate? You understand? The person gives you a rate. 
So we are buying thirty-seven dollar. So buying thirty-seven dollar. So, um, you can see the guy is sending me different rates for different network. And also, you, there's what we call network when you are purchasing. This is one of the mistakes people do. So, I always encourage people to go and, even if you are not using crypto at least, get some basic knowledge about it. So, when you want to send out a coin, there's something they call network. So when you send a coin from a different network to another network, the coin will lost in the air. Yeah. Even if it's your, yes. if it's one million, it will just disappear in the air, and that is that is that is it. You understand? So you have to be very sure of the network okay. you want to use. So, so, so you, can, you said okay. Sir, excuse me, sir. So you said you have to be sure of network so that the coin yes. will not disappear. Yes, yes, network. So once you want to buy a coin from a vendor, the person will be asking you what network. You understand? So he yes. will be sending you that coin to. So don't make mistake of sending the network, the, the wrong network. You understand? So the rate currently is 1,155. So Tyson, um, Tyson, our thirty-seven dollar times by um, one one thousand four hundred and fifty-five naira. That should be giving you um, approximately forty-two thousand seven hundred thirty-five. So the network fee is zero point five dollar. Zero point five dollar. So, uh, I want to add something here. Yeah. Okay. In the course of this this transaction, how do we know the particular network that will be sending the the USDT to? Huh? In the if course check, of this transaction, I see in the chat. I'm I'm sending to the WhatsApp. Yes, I'm seeing. Yes. Uh, there's two network. The guy is asking me which one do I need. Yes. It's asking, asking me how do Tron. How do the other one is Tron network. The other one is Binance network. Smart chain. Okay. Yeah. The okay. TRC20 is Tron network. Tron. Okay. T R O N Tron. Then the B okay. B E P20 is smart chain. Binance. Binance <laughs> network. So Binance network is cheap. Is always uh, lesser in price. You can see the other one is two dollar. Why Binance is zero point five word dollar? You get yeah. So um, the summation of the whole money should be. Uh, hello, uh, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, you can't price it. I asked uh, somebody that is selling um, USDT now. He said he's selling for one one fifty. Huh? I asked a friend of mine that Why is selling. Let's go, that's... let's go for the that one. No, uh, what I'm saying is, can can you price it, or is it of whatever course. price they give you? Of course, you can price. Uh, maybe you, you price. should try pricing. If you can reduce remove something, give us a that rate one one fifty. Uh, this this guy will not. He normally give his his best price. That's. Can I can I buy and send? Of can course, I buy of course, send? of course. That can would I be buy and send? That would be best so that you know. Let how me the let me works. show you. Let me show you a screenshot of what I have here. Oh yeah, are you using Binance? No, I'm using um Bybit. Bybit. I I use Binance, but I use. But Binance, but I can't, I can't pay. You know, Binance has blocked P2P transaction from again. 
No, you don't need P2P now in Binance. You don't need B two P. Is it on, is it not a vendor you are you are working with? No, like I can buy on buy buy beats with P two P. Oh yeah, and buy 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 and and send. To us. Let me That's... send. Let me send this. Let me send this screenshot to you. Oh yeah, to no. WhatsApp. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> you crypto and other town strange, strange man. Oh, guy, uh, book or some sort of work. Man, I'm some kind of see the rate I have here. Oh, yeah, no, 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 Oh, oh, yeah. this is, is this where you're getting the, your price from? Yes. Uh, this is P2P now. You get cheaper price and this is a vendor. You understand? Uh, yes. Anyway, you can, you can it... buy from here too. Okay. Which network? The network doesn't matter here, right? No, no. Just, you, when you send your Naira to them, they will send you, it's real oh. now, they will send you real immediately. Okay, so let's buy from here now. Okay. I'll stop recording now. Okay, okay, fine. Um, this is that seven dollar one to purchase. The coin is already on my uh the guy has sent the coin. So I'm gonna use this bit pay. Okay. So I'm using bit pay. Can I? Can I go? Can I work on the class? Hello. Absent minded. Can I put the absent minded? I'm on here, okay? Can I put you see the absent minded? Add funds. As I said, the bit pay. This Bitcoin pay is only when you are using Bitcoin to make payment. That's only when you can use that one. Okay. But if you want to use this BitPay, that means there's other many other options you can explore. So add fund. So uh, we're going to put the email address. Of somewhere. So we agree to the bit pay terms and conditions. Continue to make payment. So, uh, which wallet do we want to use? Remember, you cannot use um, exchanges during this transaction. You understand? Exchanges are not allowed. So you can only use wallets. You understand? Like if you have your if you have your crypto on if you have your crypto on um um trust wallet. Huh? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you have your crypto on no trust wallet is a wallet. If you have your crypto on Binance or KuCoin or buy um or buy bit. You might not be able to transact. You get, yeah, because they are what? They are exchanges. Exactly. So you need to, if your coin is on any of these platform, you need to first convert it before you can now use it. Convert it how? No, I mean, I mean, you have to, to, need to send it. You need to send it to to, to a wallet. A, to a wallet, yeah. Okay. 
So uh, we just have to wait a little bit. The transaction is processing. So, but it's actually processing to trust wallet. It's processing to trust wallet. So when you come to trust wallet, you need to select the coin you want. We are paying through uh, Litecoin. So our transaction is going to Litecoin. So there's other coins here. Uh, there's no USDT. So that's why we are using Litecoin because if there are USDT, let me see if they are added it. I see there's the, USDT. No, the, it is on Polygon and Ethereum network. It's okay, very okay. Not Yaris. Uh, it's very expensive, but I don't forget. Yeah. So, any transaction you do there, you are gonna you're gonna pay through it. <laughs> you're gonna hear it. So, so that's why we don't want to use them. That's why we're going for Litecoin. So Litecoin will be more cheaper for us to process the whole transaction. So all you need to do is now use your trust wallet to scan this. So, but as of now, the the money is still processing. I hope I don't know why it's still taking so much time. Process. Processing for long. Oh. So we just need to wait. Uh, let me just pause this. So we have sent the coin to them. You'll see what will happen once the transaction is successful. Uh, wow. Can you see that? Can you see that? Yes. yes, success. yes. yes. OK, we have sent the coin. So we need to yes. just go back to um, we need to go back to name cheap and wait. So in the previous class, we were able to uh, find the account, and I was able to show you how to how to cut uh, the hosting on the domain, which you can still see that uh, in our cart we still have it. So um, let me just repeat the process over again. So let me cancel these transactions and um, start all over again. Like I told you in the previous class, all you need to do is, you first of all, once you're done with funding your account, you need to search for the domain you want to buy, whether the for the availability of the domain. Because sometimes you might want to buy a domain that someone has already claimed. Or there's a name you want to buy and you don't know that someone has already claimed. So you need to search for the availability of that domain, which you can see this one is available. So all you need to do is just add to cart, like we did in the last section. Then after adding to cart your domain, you need to add also your shared hosting. That's if you are going for shared hosting, there's different hosting options there. Uh, the WordPress hosting, there's reseller hosting, VPS dedicated server, which I explained you know, in the last sections. So whichever one that you feel comfortable with, you can go for it. Then the next thing is, Selecting one of these uh, shared hosting, we are going for the smaller one so that 
uh, one our money can purchase. So like I told you in the class, once you um, add a hosting, it will automatically attach itself to any existing domain you have, you know, also add to cart. But if there's two domains you have added to cart, what will happen is that there will be a selection, this selection box will be available showing you that you can select either of those domains to be the primary domain, you understand? You understand? So any of these, but since there's only one domain here, this is the primary domain. So it's this domain that will be attached to this shared hosting. Now, like I told you in the other class, hosting cannot exist on its own. Every hosting comes with an address, but a domain, you can just purchase a domain, you understand? But you cannot purchase a hosting without a domain, you understand? So it depends on the company, depends on the company you're working with. So, but just know that every domain, every hosting comes with a domain, a primary domain that is anchored on. So um, after this, we'll just click Add to Cart. So we're adding both the hosting and the domain to cart now. So the price is $33.34. So uh, we're going to proceed to confirm this order. So if you have a coupon code, you can put a coupon code here. Now, this coupon code is just to reduce your price. You understand? So sometimes you might go on the internet to search for coupon code if you know how to do that. Or sometimes uh, it depends. So there are some websites that give out coupon codes. So if you know the ones that are legit, you can just try it out and get off some of this price. Sometimes you might have a reduction like 50%, 10%, 5%, depending on the kind of coupon you got. So, Let's confirm this order. So we're going to be choosing um, um, account fund. We're choosing account fund. Then also we are saying I don't want to choose this option. I want to say save the configuration above to my default payment settings. So, which is this information we entered in the last class. Remember, if you are creating uh, your, if you are buying domain for the first time in an account, you just have to fill in this information. You understand? Then you also save it to configuration so that when next you are trying to buy a new domain. You don't need to start filling all these forms again. That's why we say save the configuration above to my default payment settings so that they won't be asking me to fill those details in the future again. So we'll continue with the process. So at this point, uh, we just have to uh, select that we have read and agreed to the, uh, the Hosting company terms and services of so you understand. So once you've checked that, you understand, you can now proceed to make payments. So the pro the payment is processing now. So uh, the transaction has been processed com com completely. As you can see here, uh, we can go back to our dashboard and um, see the domain and the hosting we've just purchased. You can see currently we have an item added to cart here. 
You understand? We already add an item to the cart here. So these are the items we purchased, which is the Stellar hosting and the uh, the domain name. So you can click on manage to manage this domain. Now on the domain section, make sure that this uh, name server is is on web hosting DNS, main chip web hosting DNS. You understand? Sometimes you find it on custom DNS. So once it's not on name chip, make sure you put it on name chip web hosting DNS. Now, if you don't put it there, um, this will not be pointing to your server. You understand? This, uh, your domain will not be pointing to your server. So on the product section, on the product section, this is where you see the product under this domain. What are the products under this domain? The product under this domain is your hosting and your XSL. SSL is for security. You understand this HTTPX you see on the browser here. So um, just is a secure protocol. You understand? So um, these are the two items on your product. Now from here, you can click on manage to manage your hosting if you want to do anything there. But here you can, from here, go to your C panel. Now in the C panel is where all the uh, control activity actually happens. This is where you do your um, WordPress installation, uh, setting up your database, and doing every other thing. So, so this is where the, this is how the C panels look like. This is your control panel. So this is what we're gonna be, the next phase we're gonna be entering in this class, you understand? So this is when we start installing WordPress and customizing WordPress and the rest of the creating of database and so on and so forth. Now, um, the basic setting I want you to do here is, you can see this name chip SSL, but sometimes you just let it be to uh, take effect by its own self, you understand? So uh, by default now, this SSL might not have been installed. It might still be uh, pending installation. So all you need to do is to click here and install, but I will always suggest you let it be, you understand? Only when you, you find out that, um, the SSL is not installed. That's when you now start going through this process to install it by yourself. But by default, they should be able to install it for you. You understand? By default, it should be installed for you automatically. But it's not in all cases. Sometimes you might come, it's not installed. It might be something wrong. So you can see is the, the, the SSL is still pending here. So sometimes you just need to click on sync for it to sync and be confirmed automatically. You understand? So it depends. So, but now the domain is still new. So I believe they are still processing the whole thing. So it might not take effect now. So we have to let it be for some time. So it takes in four hours for a new purchase um, domain and also to propagate properly. Then also you have to check your email. You need to, you're supposed to get the hosting details in your email. It might take some time to come. It might be faster depending. And also there's an email that you need to confirm. There's a confirmation email that will be also sent to your, your Gmail. You understand? You need to also confirm that email. You understand? Uh, that's if they still send such emails. I don't know, but it's relevant you check and there is, you uh, do the necessary confirmation so that, um, so that you will not lose your, your, um, your domain. Um, sir, excuse me, sir. Let me go ahead and check uh, for the emails. Uh, check it. You might not have arrived. You might have arrived. It takes time to arrive. So you just have to check it for all the same. Just know that once you see those emails, you need to confirm uh, the one that requires you to confirm. Then the other one is just 
come in with your hosting detail, which is your cPanel login details, because it's not all the time you'll be logging through your um your uh, Namecheap account. You can just log in directly to your uh to your hosting account directly. You don't need to go through all this process. Hello. Hope you're not chat here now privately. No, private here. Sorry, guys. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Yes. I hear you now. I hear you now. I said that um, you can see that the registrant email address was successful. You understand? So it's it's gonna take like 24 hours to 48 hours for the website to be properly propagated. So at this particular point in time, uh, at that period, your SSL and every other thing will be fully installed and your site will be ready for uh you know for you to start using it and do whatever you want to do. You understand, but at this moment, it's it might be still having some one or two uh, issues. You understand, so it has properly propagated. So um, these are just the simple processes you need to go through uh, when you are purchasing domain and hosting. And these things are these things are you know they vary from different websites. Yeah, hosting company. So it depends on the hosting company you are uh, working with to determine how the whole process is going to be. So you can see an entry process. You have to create an account and um, you know be able to do your thing. But some some companies like uh, Hostinga. So like Hostinga now. Uh, sorry. Uh, let me just open a new hosting account. Let me just visit hosting. Uh, sir, uh, <clears throat> sir, should I remind you in our next class so you can prop, uh, 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 synchronize the domain and properly propagate it? Like I told you, that it will automatically happen you if you read the message. You understand the the this thing we we bought. Can you see it? You say your site will automatically re or activate usually within twenty four automatically. Now it depends on the package you are buying. There's some package you buy. You build the one that you your hand to do everything. But this package we purchase, we purchase a package that. We want them to do everything for us. I, I don't know if you get. Okay, so what it means is that we, we don't have to go back and synchronize the, the domain. No, no, no. There's nothing you are doing again. The domain, okay. is, so everything will propagate by itself. <laughs> okay. The okay. Time frame. Now, this is hosting, uh, just like I said, every different host company has their way they, they operate. You know, Stinger, if it's hosting, all you need to do here is come here and pick um, a plan, which is your hosting. So when you clean, you click, you add to cart. You add to cart. But if you are very familiar with all these online things, it shouldn't be, be difficult. Then here, you select which month, how many months you want, maybe like 12 months. 
then you put your email, whatever your email is, the password you want to use to create the account. Then you this way you now fill your detail. You can see the price for this domain. This one is that it is a little bit higher than this one, but the one we bought is that three point something dollar. But this one is that eight. So and it's closing at forty six dollar. You understand? So it's more higher. So here too, you can choose the whatever payment gateway you want. You can even choose crypto. So this is for crypto. And you fill everything and you proceed and the account will be created for you and you make your payments and all that. So uh, there's nothing too difficult. And the, the good thing is that once you go to YouTube to search any coaching company you want to create account with or buy something for you don't know how to go about it. You can always um you know look up for videos on YouTube. Definitely you have to see somebody who have done or explained how the whole uh, process works and so on and so forth. So I think that will be all. If you guys have questions, you can just ask. So the next class will be having to be installing WordPress and customizing WordPress and so on. Okay, what's your question? Okay, so then my question is, uh, for, for instance, if someone wants you to help 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 him buy him or her buy this hype buy a domain or he hosts it, do do I need to buy it for my account or I will have to sign in? I want to sign in the person of. Um, if you are a developer like me, we buy with our account, except the person is specific about it. There are people who are knowledgeable enough, especially people who are in the finance department, uh, people that their website is in, has to do with finance. You understand? They always want to be in control of their websites and everything. Of everything. They will not allow you to buy it for them. They will buy it by themselves. You understand? And only give you access to work on it or manage for them. You understand so that when they don't need you again, they can kick, kick you out immediately. But if so, if it's just a normal random person that you're building a website for, the person might not even know how the whole thing works. You just give you money, then you buy from your account. But the good thing is that you can always transfer domain out from your hosting to a new hosting. You can transfer a domain. Yes, from one account to another account. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can. And you don't know, have, you don't know, have access to the account again. Of course, you won't have account access once you, once you, um, uh, you try do the transfer and you, you know, you move the the uh, the privileges to the person. The person becomes a new yes. owner. Then you no longer. Okay. The owner, so you can find that there's a place called transfer domain transfer. You can always do that. You can see sharing and transfer on each domain. So, like this, your domain now. If I want to move it to my own account, you understand. So, I would definitely have to new manager change of ownership. If I want, to, just like you guys now, three of you now, if you three of you want to have access to this to me, you can, you know, can invite, uh, maybe your three of you have different name chip account and you don't want to give them access to your name chip account because in your name chip account, you have other things there which you don't want them to have access yeah. to. So what you now do is to invite them as managers of this particular domain. Now in their own name chip account, they'll be seeing this domain, they can manage it from their side and do whatever they want to do there, then they will not have access to your other uh, information that is in your name chip account. Then for ownership, that means you are transferring ownership to another person, just like somebody selling his car. It's no more his own. They have to relieve whatever thing he has to the new owner. So you have to put the person's username and transfer it. Now, the person have to confirm from his side, then you have to approve for your email that you actually did this transaction. And once it is completed, 
you can't undo it again. It's it's over. That means you don't have you know access to the domain again and to you to you won't see it again okay. as account as the case may be. I think that's 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 all. Any other questions?